Hello friends, this is the Gyms of the Gyms TV. Thank you for stopping by and you're welcome. So I'm right now at Regent University College of Science and Technology here in Accra. And today we'll be meeting with an international student. Now this student is going to be telling us one or two things we need to know before coming to school in Ghana. For those of you who are considering coming to school in Ghana and you're foreigners or even if you have your children who are thinking of coming to Ghana, well she's going to be telling us a few things to note. She's also going to be sharing with us, you know, her life in Ghana, how it has been and what it's like as an international student. Oh, I'm sure from the background you can tell I'm in a student's room with a cupboard and things. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you enjoy and I hope you find this very informative. Stay tuned. All right, friends, you're welcome back. And we are right here with our guest for today. So please, can you introduce yourself? Okay, my name is Amaris Adetunji Oyewo. I'm a Nigerian. I'm from, um, I stay in Abuja, I'm from Oyo State. So that means she's Yoruba for those of you who might not know. You're more Yoruba. Yes. <laughs> okay, so what level are you in? We're not going to say your department just for, you know, security purposes. Okay, I'm in my final year, which is level 400. So tell us, uh, for those of my viewers who are, you know, considering coming to Ghana or sending their children to Ghana and, and not Ghanaians, mm. <laughs> what are the requirements to get into a school in Ghana? Well, it depends okay. on what course you're studying, first of all. Here in Ghana, for a science student, you need math, English, biology, physics, chemistry, integrated science, civic. Yeah, that's basically it for a non ghanaian student because you don't really necessarily write any exams. So they just need you to have like A's or B's and all of that. Good grades, basically. Good grades. But if you don't have the integrated science and you want to do a particular science course, then they'll make you do that course here in Ghana for like a whole year. You'll still be in school though, but you do it for a whole year, write an exam, and if you pass, then you can continue with that course, or you might just have to change your desired course. Wow. You guys, let me just quickly, I'm sure she's familiar with this, but I'll just, I just feel like I, I should brief you. In Nigeria, right, for everyone who leaves secondary school, you're a secondary school leaver, before you get into the university, you must must with emphasis on must you must write jam did you ever write jam yes i did in <laughs> <laughs> jam is joint admissions matriculation board right okay. it's an exam that is over 400 right so it's four courses yeah 100 100 100 in four places right so the pass mark for a university is usually 200, 200. right but for a polytechnic and maybe some other monotechnic or something they can get one eight yeah, you can yeah. so i for one i've had my first share of jam jam being me <laughs> <laughs> if you are not nigerian you may not understand what i mean <laughs> once you hear someone say jam jam <laughs> meaning that <laughs> let's not even go any further <laughs> so after you write jam you also need to write post UTME. That's yeah. the exam for the school you're getting into. So you have to write JAM, then you write post UTME. Now, the issue with Nigeria, I don't know. Did you ever try to get into a Nigerian school? No, I did not bother myself. You get to that shortly. So when you write your post UTME, of course, you wait for admission list and all of that. It is usually not very easy because you find a situation where someone passes jam but doesn't pass post UTME. UTME. In fact, there's no way you can write post UTME without passing jam. Yeah. Come to think of it. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Can't. So you have to pass jam. So tell me, why did you not study in Nigeria? Well, honestly, it has never been Ew. my dream. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> never. Why, why, why? Really? Tell me. I don't know. Maybe sharing a lot of people's experiences jam. on. <laughs> Let's just leave jam and say jam. Then you go to the post UTME and then you get that sometimes there's a lot of bribery and corruption in the oh. school. Mm -hmm. If you don't know someone inside the school, there even if you pass and overpass the pass mark, 
just forget it if you don't know anybody just go 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 you say won't be going home that's why i think some people opt out for private schools. schools this is not to no 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 please don't quote me or don't come for me i'm just saying that usually in nigeria it's easier to get into a private school because they are not overly strict about yeah. post CTME and all of that of course you'd have to pass jam you'd have to write jam so there's no how you can get into the school without writing jam but they are not as strict Street. as federal schools yeah. state schools and polytechnics and whatnot so you didn't want all of that drama and that's why i didn't i didn't need it <laughs> i didn't need it. <laughs> yeah, i didn't need it so i just decided to stay one full year at home to make up my mind on where i wanted to go to but you wrote jam but how wrote was the jam. experience uh, honestly was crazy wow. it was computer based so people's mm. computers were shutting down halfway mm. and then you have to restart it and the time is going mm -hmm. so you don't necessarily have time on your side so as you're there you're just praying god i beg don't let my computer shut down <laughs> oh my goodness so we just needed to give that background because she's nigerian so she would obviously understand where i'm coming from or at least we have something in common okay that means it's not very difficult to get into a Ghanaian school. No, it's not. It's not at all. Just have your good grades and mm. you're good to go. Okay. So for Regent University, is it a private school or? Yeah, it's a private school. Oh, it's a private so school. So why a private school in Ghana? Why not? Because I think they have quite, you know, a number of nice yeah, government schools. Yeah, government here. schools are really nice and they really do well better than some of their private schools so actually private? but it's just that for an international student the fees you're going to pay is quite crazy like it's triple the amount you pay in a private school mm -hmm. for an international student so i think that's basically why i didn't go to a government school Apart from that, the government schools are actually good. Did their fees, take note? <laughs> their fees are crazy. So can you give us a range, if you don't mind? You don't have to be specific, but you pay in dollars or you pay? Yeah, in I pay in dollars. Ah, so the difference between what you paid and you know, what, upon when you were going to resume, yeah, you know, when you were going to resume newly, um, what was the difference between? And what you were going to pay as an international student in a private school and what you were going to pay in a federal school it's been a while but you said three pool that means uh, triple three pool like right now i pay like thousand something dollars so it'll be like a government school for an international student maybe some three thousand dollars or more it mm. depends on the government school that you're going to so are you happy that you came to ghana to school yes i definitely am there is no strike there's no stress why are you <laughs> you know kind of shading us you know i definitely love much. my country <laughs> but no you're just subtly throwing <laughs> at us you know you know Sometimes. i went to a federal school myself so i know exactly what you're talking Sometimes about you don't know where you are, you're going to graduate whether okay. it's four years true, or true, six true, years true, true, true. you can plan for a four years course and but that doesn't it. happen with private schools yeah though, but it doesn't you know, but for federal strike is it's not normal but you have to factor it into yeah whatever course you're starting <laughs> this is a sad reality for some of us in nigeria it's very sad, sad. Very now sad. i know why she ran away from me <laughs> you know you know tell us as you've been here for four years did you come to ghana prior um resuming school or that was your first time of coming to ghana that wasn't necessarily my first time okay I have family here, so okay. I visited them before, but that was a long ten time ago. ago. Like I was 10. <laughs> I was 10 years old. Wow. <laughs> so it was a long wow. time ago. Then I had to come here for school. But I came way earlier than the resumption date. Ah, so you had time to, you know, yeah. acclimatize yourself with yes. the environment. Yes. So tell us, what are some of the challenges you face as an international student in Ghana at the top of your head? honestly their language has to be a very big challenge for me because sometimes the lecturers forget that they're teaching not only Ghanaian students but international students and almost half of the things they say will be in their language and you're looking lost you're like 
um, what's going on you either have to ask someone after the class or something and you're just lost how often does this happen well for my classes it's almost an everyday kind of thing whether it's zoom class face to face you're you're partially lost do you speak three at all i do not speak but you understand one or two i can try you can try i can try <laughs> i can use my head to get what you're saying okay but apart from that it can be really annoying mm -hmm. and also having to go to a market in ghana without knowing their language oh, dear. oh god <laughs> you make an effort to learn at least maybe honestly i tried but when i start to hear people tell me oh you have to learn this you have to learn this then i lose interest in it because i feel like you're forcing me to do what i might want to do but i might not really want to do it because i don't plan on staying here forever once i leave here i can't go to nigeria and be speaking to you. they'll be lost so when i get to market i'm always trying to use my head to understand what they're saying it can be really tough but it's still interesting but aside the language, any other challenge you might be facing? Nah, I think Ghana is quite a cool place. They have respectful people and they're oh, quite I homely. So <laughs> true, true. Nothing else apart from their language. That's all. What's your favorite Ghanaian food? My favorite Ghanaian food will have to be fufu and light soup. Who doesn't like fufu? Oh, fufu dear. <laughs> Once I eat it, I am yeah, okay. Fufu many hours yes <laughs> many 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 hours yes. <laughs> so what's your least favorite food banco no way no way yes, no, no 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 i you, do you not just hurt me you you hurt me i'm, I'm hurt sorry. i'm hurt i'm pain <laughs> i'm pain yes, yes, yes. Yes. neither do i like their okra um. so i don't try it <laughs> don't try it so far from all you said Ghana is a really nice place to, or at least it has been nice yeah, to you. Yeah, it has been, it has been nice. It it's has just been the, okay. the language. language. But could you try a little bit to you know, learn? Honestly, I would love to learn. I've been telling my friends, oh, teach me, and they think it's a joke. Oh, <laughs> so they're always okay. playing with it. Uh, so I think that's why I haven't necessarily learned it. There's really no one to, to teach you. Except here my lecturers, and you don't necessarily know what they're saying. So, so for someone who is thinking of coming to Ghana to school, what do you say? Well, first of all, I'll tell you to please kindly check out the school that you want to go to like if you can find a way to find someone who knows the school very well mm -hmm. i think get inquiries from that person because sometimes it's not everything you see online that is actually here i think that's it ghana schools are nice here oh, you won't really go so through too. stress they try to make it a little bit easy for you so yeah when you come here you'll enjoy yourself <laughs> yeah. So how many foreigners are you in your class or are you the only one? No, I'm not the only one. Um I think my class were like three foreigners. What yeah. countries? Oh we're all Nigerians. Mm. Yeah. Okay. But how, then but then what as a whole level mm. we have um people from Cote d'Ivoire and mm. some other French speaking countries. Uh, ah, yeah. Okay, so okay. So, by your departments, uh, what's the percentage of um, foreigners to indigenous? Right now, the <laughs> yeah, not sure. I'm not sure, but I think we have more indigenous mm -hmm. than foreigners. Is it even possible to have more foreigners than indigenous? It's possible. Mm. It's very possible. So. At least in my school at the time, there were more foreigners than indigenous. But right now everything has changed so how's your cost of living as a student i don't necessarily do a lot of buying okay. so i usually just buy my things in bulk so i don't have okay. to go and buy again because it's just stress and are things fair for you uh, ghana is a very expensive country <laughs> so yeah. usually most times i do get my things from nigeria and bring it here Hair, foodstuffs, I just package it in Nigeria and bring it here because it's cheaper over there. Mm. So I think it helps to reduce the, my spending. Apart from that, I think 
everything is cool. Thank you so much for having us, Amaris. Thank, Thank you. you. Can you say something, a thing or two in three that you can remember? Uh, can I can think of anything right now. <laughs> you can say, Medasi. Well, what's Medasi? Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, I yes, tell so you, you said Medasi. Thank you. Okay. Medasi. <laughs> Medasi. Oh, <you> <laughs> Medasi. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. It was nice having you. Thank you too. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please kindly like, subscribe, and share this video. And kindly say something nice to Amaris in the comment section. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>